what's up everyone so i'm heading out for a run outside for the you know not having to stay on the treadmill Let's see if i can keep this up so you can actually see me i don't know because my mom is actually here today helping out around the house which has been awesome so thank you mom we appreciate it but yeah i'm gonna go out for run number two in the saucony kinvara 13s also testing out the uh exoskin 3.1 underwear the exo underwear that they sent out uh 3.1 so super excited about those because the original exoskin underwear was amazing i don't even know how they can improve it so we'll see So one thing I noticed right away when I first tried on the uh, the EXO Underwear 3.1 is that the fabric is much thinner. So they've always been very thin, like super thin to the point where you really like don't even feel that you're wearing wearing the shorts at all. They're awesome, but <laughs> these ones are so thin that not only can you see the uh, outline of everything but you can actually see it like through the shorts so i know some people like to you know just wear those as shorts very few people <laughs> maybe with a you know a fairly long shirt but i wouldn't recommend it not anymore they're very thin but hopefully that means they will breathe better dry better and just overall be better we'll see if you happen to catch my uh, Saucony Kinvara first impression video from Monday <laughs> yeah Monday you might have noticed like if you saw it when I first published it I mentioned the release date and the price but then now if you go back and look at it it's not there well I confirmed with Saucony so as of right now they did have to push back the release date of the Kinvara to early April is what they said they didn't want to pin down a specific date, but early April. So we'll see. I know the uh, I know the Hoax Speedgoat 5 was just pushed back as well to like later in March. We'll see if it actually hits that or maybe they push it back further. So I am in taper mode now. Officially tapering for the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon on March 27th. So I'm less than two weeks away this week. Volume is definitely reducing and we have one speed work in there and I think, I think my long run is like an hour and 15 so you can't even really call that a long run but anyway I'm looking forward to taper I like it I know a lot of people like freak out when they get in taper mode but for me I like it I know what it happens my body is resting it's recuperating from the hard work over the past 10 12 weeks you know the body is finally filling up those glycogen stores <laughs> replacing the enzymes the antioxidants the muscle depletion is getting is getting repaired all of that is taking place during these last two weeks and it's so important so i'm excited i like taper bring it on let's bring on race day So with that in mind, this is taper week, one of two taper weeks. Today is just 45 minutes easy, real easy pace, just kind of hanging out, having fun, enjoying the day. Grateful to be outside. But today was also my wife's, uh, I don't know, one of her PT appointments. And my mom was awesome enough to take her so I could stay and work. I had a meeting this morning, but it's going really well for my wife. They said on Thursday, they will start the process, start the process of getting her off of crutches. Not exactly sure what that entails, but I guess I'll find out. <laughs> and that also means they're starting the process to uh, get her to driving, which is not just a, you know, flip a switch. All right, you go drive. She has to work on the foot, modulating the gas pedal kind of stuff, I guess. 
and that side to side movement of maybe going to the brake pedal quickly for like avoiding an accident. So still a long process, but hopefully soon she'll be able to start driving. You want to go? Huh? Can we go? Let's go. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, big boy. Let's race. Come on. I'm beating you right now. I'm barely even moving. Oh, you want to go? I can jump like that too. I can jump like that too. Oh yeah. Let's go. They don't want to go. Those guys do. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Or she, it's a she. Here she comes. Let's go. Come on, yellow ear. Oh, you got a swamp to go through right there. Better watch out, you might get stuck. Anyway, enough play with the cows. So coming up probably next week, I will do a video, kind of maybe talk more about my specific race goals for the Knoxville Marathon. Maybe go over some, I don't know, pacing or strategies, nutrition, all that stuff. We'll see. So anyway, I'm really excited about this marathon. I feel very fit right now. Just very, very fit, probably the most fit I've been as far as like quick miles, you know, fast endurance. Not for, you know, 100 mile stuff, but for a marathon, I feel in the best shape I've ever been. So it'll be fun. The only thing that I'm cautious about, I guess, is the weather. But everybody has to deal with that. So whether it's raining or humidity kicks in, I'll just deal with whatever it is. But that leads me to a good point is that I'm super happy to be training with Vert, Vert.run. It's just been awesome. I've been with them now for, oh gosh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. I don't know, I've been with them for a while. And my training has just gotten so much, so good and consistent right now. So love it. Check it out in the description below, Vert.run. One other thing to mention, down below in the description, there is a link uh, and a coupon code for Exoskin. So go check that out too, save you some money. Responsible dog owners. One other thing too, don't forget, so Wednesday night, the night this video publishes, but Wednesday night, uh, I think it's the 16th, I'll be doing a live stream on the Ultra Dads channel. So that's, <laughs> sorry, I heard something loud over there. So that's on Dan, the Ultra Dads channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to his channel, so check it out. I think it's gonna be uh, seven o'clock central, 8 p.m. Eastern, so come hang out. We're gonna talk training, uh, marathon stuff, and summer races, and who knows what else. All right, well that's gonna do it. Another five miles in the Saucony Canvars. Real easy, just trying to break the shoes in a bit, open them up. Not that they need to break in for like sizing, because they fit really well, but yeah, just to see if the midsole opens up a bit gets a bit more uh i don't know if it feels a little bit better <laughs> but anyway that's gonna do it thanks for watching i appreciate you all give the video a thumbs up that'd be cool uh you know all the youtube stuff like comment share that stuff but thanks for watching so anyway well why don't you go ahead and take a look at the first impression video i did of the Kinvara 13s right over here you can take a look at that over on that side i'll put a playlist of something up there take a look at that too whatever you want to do but thank you and i'll see you on the next one